Hi, welcome back to Easy Fab. Now we're going to take a look at how to design your own fabric. This is the third section of our software. To begin with, um, you're going to be working on a 12 by 15 work area. And the first thing you're going to do is select your background layer. So you can either go with a solid color, and we'll just show you how to do that. So pick your color and then pour it in. Or, let's just back out of that, you can use one of the patterns. Now, from my experience, when you pick a pattern, try to pick something that's not going to compete too much and overwhelm the different um, objects and images you're going to put on to create your design. So I like to use something very simple. So I picked out the design here. I click on it and it's going to fill out my whole workspace. Now you're eventually going to be creating a three inch swatch, repeatable swatch. So um, you kind of have to think of this um, divided into five sections and you I will learn to adjust. I kind of pick um, a place up in the corner and I kind of judge what my swatch is going to, um, my space of three inches is going to look like. So let's get started. Next thing you're going to do is select your image. Now we've given you lots of different fun images um, and I'm just going to run through some of them as you can see here. And you have lots of different uh, different things to pick from and um, I'm going to start with home. It's some of my favorite images. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my first image. Now I don't like to use any more than about three images. Don't forget this is only three inches and um, as you can see as I move it you can see how it affects my whole design and um, I'm going to click so my line goes away and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So when you want to make it smaller, you click on that image and then keep on working it and moving it around. And then I'm going to add my second image. Now I'm going to bring in a coffee grinder because this is going to have a bit of a theme. And it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Now here's where you can get some movement in your design. So when we do uh, fabric design, most of them are kind of, they have like an offset to it. So you see what I'm doing is I'm creating an offset in my design and um, I'm kind of bringing it down off as an angle. Now I do have room for a little something else in here and um, we have a tiny little clock up here. I'm going to bring it in, click on it. It's way too big but I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to make it way smaller and then maybe stick it up in here. Maybe make it a little bit smaller and I think I like it. Maybe move that over, move this over a little bit and move this over. So this is a two-step process. The first um, part of designing your own is going to be cutting the initial three-inch swatch off and then you're going to have a second go at it where you're going to be able to either add some text to it um, or photos or um, improve it if you want. Otherwise you can just go with it the way it is. So uh, next thing you're going to do, if you wanted to move things around and move layers around, you would then click on manage layers, but now I'm going to save my swatch. Now don't forget I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to save it and call it coffee and hit save and look what happens. It cuts it off into a perfect three inch seamless swatch. And this is really hard to do unless you're a graphic designer. So this is where we're gonna, where we're gonna stop on our first one and when we come back to our second video we're gonna talk all about making this into uh, more a personalized swatch of fabric.